Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Bosses V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the 2019 BMW M5. So make sure that you go inside my description below and go and download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that, then download this mod and I will leave this mod in some of the description below. Once you have completed that process, then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, head over to your mods folder, then go to your update folder, then go to your time 64 folder, then go to your DRC patch folder, and now go to your extract folder now inside that folder there will be our m5 folder so open up that folder now all you got to do okay is simply drag this folder and now drag it inside your drc packs folder that's all you got to do open up the readme.txt and inside here all you got to do is just keep scrolling down Keep scrolling it down and now copy this line over here. Just copy this, okay. And now exit out of your text file. Exit out of your extract folder. Now go to your open IV. Open up your open IV. Now open up your text, any text, okay. And now paste your code right there. Okay. Open up any text file, okay, notepad. Now, next, go to edit mode inside your open IV. Select yes. Go to your mods folder. Go to your update folder. Go to your update.rpf. Go to common. Go to data. Scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over it, right click, and then select edit. Now make sure that you copy any one of these, okay? Just copy any one of these. And now go back to your text file. And now just paste it down here, down the bottom. Now all you got to do, okay, is just copy this. And now just delete this and now add that code between the two items. That's all you got to do. Now copy the code. Go back to your open IV. Then go down to the bottom to the item, to the last item. Press enter and now paste the code right there. Next, save your code. Then go to your edit mode, then GTAV, then exit out of your open IV, then exit out of your game folder, and then now right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are back as Franklin, so we are in the game, and my game did not crash. So, to spawn the vehicle, you gotta use any trainer. Now, the trainer that I'm using is simple trainer so to open up your simple trainer just press f3 now go down to vehicle spawning 
then go right down to the bottom to edit vehicle menu then now you'll see the vehicle right there now as you can see the vehicle is basically in like normal shape and it's only a basic car right now now there is skins to the car so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fully modify the vehicle so you guys can see that the vehicle can be modified and we are back so as you can see my vehicle has been modified so this is what the vehicle looks like when I modify the vehicle now there is skins on this vehicle so you can check it out by using menu so the trainer that I used to actually modify the vehicle was menu so that is how you guys spawn the vehicle and that is how you install it and that's how you modify it so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod it's an awesome mod and not to mention if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that so with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.